Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we are taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions, and you love to see it. A first-timer for the women's division, not in the modern era. We have Tori Wilson, fitness guru. She is a defensive attitude era showboat trainer ability at 26k. Black gems do 40% more damage, and black moves start with two more move points. Lynx, Attitude Era, gems do 10% more damage. Will she be getting a tag link with Stacy? We'll see. Uh, gear bonus, none. Just the one standard set of gear. Uh, four builds we're going to take a look at today. Keep in mind, we do not have a six-star female opponent, so a lot of this is probably going to look like a squash. Um... Not my intention, but that's what I have available to be. First build we're going to take a look at is Protect Gem based. Uh, we're running double blue with the sub. Blue one is the Handspring Back Elbow 5 MP. Deal 165,014 damage and choose a 1 by 6 area to swap into purple gems. Blue two, the Flowing DDT 5 MP. Deal 170,480 damage and choose a 4x5 area to make it to protect gems of strength. 111,666. That is a strong base. And the sleeper hold 7 MP color submission. Choose 8 gems to make it to blue submission gems and do 191,646 damage for 4 turns. While Submission Gems are on the gem board, remaining Submission Gems turn into Protect Gems of Strength 111,666. So Entourage for this, we're using Lawler for Blue MP, Judgment Day Rhea, not for the Yellow MP, but for the Protect Gems generated from moves will reduce damage taken by an additional 65%. Earthquake to reduce that by 20%. And um, Striker Bliss to reduce it by 25%. So now they are Protect Gems of Strength. 234,499. And we're making 20 of them. So if all of those stay on the board, we are blocking 4.689 million damage on a pin attempt. Uh, that's crazy. For the belts, we're going uh, double armor. Again, I really wish I had a six star to go up against because I want to see how that scales against kickout boosts. Um, I do have 70% from the belt. You could do a cheap shot. Um, if the Mela's mask plate was working as intended, um, you could use that as well. It um, increases your blue move damage and reduces your opponent's jam damage. You could do a head games plate. Uh, to throw random botches on the board. Um, I'm just going to do the medals for now. And, uh, hey, Chloe. And we did it, folks. Chloe is in the entrance. Easy claps. Um, I was, I put it on, um, uh, one time speed just so we could, just so we could see the dog. Um, so, a 4x5 area to make into protects. Make a 1x6 into purple. I was going to say, I don't want to pin her right away because I want to, you know, show how to recycle with the sub and whatnot. Um, but we probably could have kept her down really easy. Uh, but color sub, sleeper hold, make a four match to lo load up your um, blue moves. She's doing like no damage to us. Uh, I'm gonna go there. And then I'll put the one by six in here.
Gives us a wild card, but we can do this. A 93,000 pin. And just... Yeah. The amount of gem damage that blocks is nutty. 50% gem defense strap as well would just be gross. You could do Honky Tonk Man instead of Rhea for some more gem defense. Um, but again, really need a six-star opponent to see how that scales. Let's go ahead and take a look at a different build. Next build we're going to take a look at is a slight variation, bringing in the four-star move, which is the arm drag 6 MP. Deal 136,570 damage, and she has a 1 by 6 area to make into trap gems if broken by you. Deal 259,066 damage and heal for 299,490. If broken by your opponent, deal 880,400 damage, pardon me, and decrease the damage of all your opponent's gems by 15%, 1-5 for one total turn. Uh, so we're gonna run the one by six into purple, the one by six into trap, and the submission. And this is going to be a super sub build. Uh, Woods for purple MP, Zombie Brock for 20% and three more turns, Papa Mayavia for 50% and one more turn, and Trick Nick for 50% uh, more purple gem damage. We're doing 421,622 damage for eight turns for a total of 3.3 million damage um, with the submission. And then we're leaving behind protect gems and then we're gonna heal ourselves and recycle. Very, very straightforward. Hey, Chloe. So I'm gonna start with a submission here just to load up. And again, five-star gold opponent, that's almost all of her health, right? Uh, but the protect gems are so strong that even if she didn't match loot boxes, she wasn't going to be doing damage. Um, arm drag. If we do take damage, we can just heal ourselves right back up again. 1.8 million health back. Go ahead and put that there, and she's in danger. We can hit the sub again. We can just swipe our way out. So that is a super sub healing build. We have a protect build. Um, now we're going to switch to a gem damage build. Let's go ahead and set that up. So another variation of these uh, blue and purple move combinations, we're bringing in the six star move and switching to a gem damage build. So we're running the submission, we're running the um, the flowing DDT that makes an area of protect gems, and we're bringing in the six star move, which is the diving crossbody, six MP, deal 178,424 damage and make 20 protect gems into purple gems. The pin bar will not move. Entourage for this, Woods to get the sub going right away. Uh, Powerhouse Otis for 70% more damage to our Protect Gems. That is like, like double the purple gem damage. Um, if you had Goon there, you could use that instead if you wish, if you don't have your Otis worked up. Uh, Showboat Lacey for 20%. And then we're going to use Trick Andre for plus one on a match to blue. Um, on the off chance that after we hit this move, we get a blue swipe and can cycle all of them again. So you're saying there's a chance. Um, for the belt, we have switched over to Fury 2s and we have brought in the All Heart Plate. Whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. So we only need to make a three match here. If I knew how to click buttons. Um, there we go. I'm content just covering up um, the blue gems that are already there. She leaves us one purple gem to the surprise of nobody. 
Um, a 36k was really hoping she, you know, we'd have one. But now I got to cover that one up, which is fine. But, you know. So 36k on the purple gems. Uh, 43k on the purple protects. We're going to turn them all into purple gems. Well, most of them into purple gems. Gonna have a few left over, which is totally fine by me. The protect gems are strong. I don't feel like I need to break all of them. Uh, we did not, however, get any semblance of a blue match. Never mind, we totally did. Um, but yeah, that would. This is just like bonus, right? Uh, we'll just go ahead and do that. Oh, well, we sure lucked out then, huh? And there they all go. Uh, 1.28 mil, and then we're done. You would just cycle that back and forth with the submission. Um, definitely not her strongest gem damage build. I think that's going to be the five-star build that we're going to go set up. Uh, but that is an option. Uh, there's some pretty decent board control there, so not terrible at all, but let's go set up the five-star build. Last build we're going to take a look at, as I said, available at five-star, triple yellow. Yellow one, the nose job, 10 MP finisher. Deal 248,607 damage. Make 20 reinforced gems into yellow gems and pin the opponent. Yellow 2, the Running Swinging Neckbreaker, 6 MP. Deal 97,619 damage. And choose two gems to make into two turn Juggernaut gems. That will increase the damage of all your gems by 50% for two turns on every countdown turn. And make 13 random gems into reinforced gems at the end of the countdown. And Yellow 3, the Snap Suplex, 7 MP. Deal 153,506 damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for two turns. Um, bless up to the 16k Cena. Two yellow MP, 45% more damage to our yellow gems. Kofi for yellow MP. Using Hall of Fame Yokozuna for 100% to the reinforce. I promise I'll work up Braun one day. It hasn't happened yet, but I'm going to max him out. Don't worry. Uh, King Woods takes priority for me. Uh, but Braun for 15%. I swapped a couple of the medals to get yellow subsets. So we're just shy of 150% there. And we are using a superior tech plate. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, make seven rend into yellow at the end of your turn. Absolutely not necessary here. Another option is the... Bulldog Bracers Plate. Whenever you generate 10 or more reinforced gems, increase your yellow gem damage by 25% and your red gem damage by 75% for three turns. Now, if those values were swapped, if it was 75% yellow, I'd be much more inclined to use it on this build. As it stands, I'll take the superior tech. You could even do a shock the system. Anything that if you break a color, you throw out more yellow gems on the board just for more damage. Um, Bulldog Plate, not a massive game changer. But this is, to me, my favorite build, which means I'm going to brick this. Hi, Chloe. Uh, no yellow match. Big sad. Running, swinging, neckbreaker, put out your juggernaut gems. Striker Goldberg would make this nuts, by the way. Uh, we're at 47k to our yellow gems before anything else. Stunned. Ah, maybe it's only supposed to be yellow gem damage. The description says all. But I think that's only supposed to be yellow. I'm not mad, though. I'm not mad. This is still really good. Um... So 95k on our yellow gems. Now with this, it is a two-turn stun. You have to swipe. She doesn't have a choose move in this. Um, you could maybe do the uh, make a 1x6 into purple. Do the it's time once again plate to kind of hope to trigger this a little more. You know what? I'm going to try that afterwards without the stun. 
but um 95k on the yellows 126 on the yellow reinforced uh gonna go ahead and make 20 of those into yellow gems bop we missed a few uh 4.3 million damage though 4.3 million damage. I am going to go swap in the move and the plate real quick, though, just to see if that um, helps things along. Okay, so I tried it, and it didn't work out great. Um, I took out the stun and put in the blue move that makes a 1x6, but then you have to use double MP trainers. You lose out on the 45% from Cena, so whatever. What I did keep, though, was um, the It's Time Once Again plate. Whenever you break three or more purple gems, get three yellow move points at the end of your turn. If we happen to land a purple or a yellow match here, we might be able to keep the stun going. Again, not the end of the world. It is a five-star gold opponent, so not the most accurate. But... 47k... Uh, okay. That works. Kind of. We didn't get our MP match, but... 95, 126 on the reinforced still. So that would be another option if you happen to get a purple match. I feel like we didn't connect. Yeah, we didn't connect nearly as much. 3.5 mil. still really strong damage wise let's go wrap up the preview so that concludes our first look at tori wilson fitness guru and chloe um again an attitude era defensive showboat we didn't have a female showboat for attitude era so i love having the class era combinations um rounded out so big win here for me in terms of attitude era it's traditionally really weak era for the women um, a lot of people still swear by DX China. Some do Powerhouse China with a Titan plate. Some are still on the Trick Stacy kick. Um, but not a ton of strong options. I think Tori by default is the best attitude female just because there's such a lack of them. Um, but I still think she's good regardless. Uh, trainer ability... Black moves start with two more move points. Black gems do 40% more damage. Links. Attitude Era, gems do 10% more damage, just the one standard set of gear. The thing I really like about Tori is if for some reason the Protect Gems don't hold up, you can switch to a gem damage build. It's not like she's Protect Gems or Bust. Um, so there is some versatility there with her, but like I said, very happy to get um, a first-timer not in the modern era. Let me know what you think in the comments of this video Thank you very much for taking the time to watch. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend.